<sighs> well, my only bite of the day will stick. Holy shit. Oh, all right. Hey, I didn't skunk. Twelve and a half, baby. I'm on the board. <laughs> okay. All right, 14 and a quarter. That's two in a row. We'll see, maybe. All right. What's up, guys? So this is a couple days after the event, about a week after the Lake Murray event, and uh, had some time to process everything. It was just bad. The fish just were not doing what I thought they were going to be doing. Um, there was no topwater bite to speak of, even though uh, hook sets with Ryan, he launched at the same place I did and had a top 10 finish all on topwater. So, uh, you know, it's just one of those things where you, you had to be in the right area. You had to be throwing the right thing. Uh, he said he caught most of his fish on a whopper plopper. I don't know if, you know, that made a difference, but I was throwing the buzz bait pretty much exclusively. Just couldn't get it done, you know, but what's funny is there were 80 people that fished that tournament. I caught two fish and was in 32nd place, I think, 31st place, you know? So, I mean, what a, it was a tough day for a lot of people. Um, and speaking of a tough day for a lot of, for people in general, don't cheat in kayak bass fishing tournaments. This community is too small to do something that dumb for a $1,200 payout. Uh, the, whole, the whole country is gonna know that you cheated in a tournament if you ch choose to cheat in a kayak fishing tournament. So just don't do it. Um, you know, we had, we had an incident in the Murray event and that's why I say I, I finished in 31st with two fish. The standings would show 32nd, but, um, you know, none of that matters cause I'm not fishing for points, but, uh, you know, I, it was, it was all right. It was just a lot of driving for two stupid fish that honestly, I didn't even think I was going to catch. After I caught that, after I hooked that stick, um, snagged that stick on the bottom, I was basically heading in. I just was ready to be done with it for the day. So that was it. And then I just kind of traveled over to that other side and just kept flipping, uh, you know, some of the, uh, the drop shot around some of the ends of docks and, and got lucky and got two bites. Those docks, you can't really skip underneath them because a lot of them have that second two by four, uh, which is puts them right in their floating docks. So it puts it right at water level. I mean, there might've been a couple times where I could get, you know, maybe a Ned rig up underneath if it was a perfect, 
you know, laser skip, but you know, to do that and be effective on those, I mean, I thought my whole plan was to fish that natural bank that I was fishing early in the day, catch a limit there, and then just try to go docks from there. But it just, they just weren't there for me. I was very disappointed uh, with that whole thing. So, you know, it is what it is. That's going to be, that's basically going to wrap up my tournament season. There might be one more, one or two more off events that. I fish because the last Queen City Kayak Bass Fishing event, I am going to be uh, in Charleston, South Carolina, fishing with Topwater Kayak Adventures or Top Topwater Kayak Charters uh, down in out of Charleston. So that's going to be fun. Going to be doing a going to be doing a big. Uh, we just got off the water. Going to be doing a big inshore trip uh, with the wife. Uh, on some kayaks down there so it should be fun uh it's it's the time of year to be doing inshore fishing so it should be time just right to go and catch some reds and you know whatever else wants to bite so that should be fun um you know like i said i just got off the water today um we got on some fish so next week i'll have this video up it should be a lot better than the murray video and uh you know so i hope you guys enjoyed the video at least a little bit kind of sharing my misery but um until then i appreciate you guys watching and have a great day